guys. It's been forever since I filmed. It's been like three weeks, which is the longest I've gone in a very long time without filming. Um, I've just been under the weather. I've had a cold, going through life crap, so I just haven't been able to sit down and film or wasn't feeling well enough to sit down and film. So um, I thought I would surprise you guys with a giveaway. Um, so you'll have to stay tuned until the end of the video to know what I'm giving away. Um, but I also thought that I would show you guys what I've been loving for beauty products lately since I haven't done a makeup tutorial in what feels like forever. So if you guys want to see what I've been loving and what I'm giving away, then keep on watching. For foundation, for the last month I literally haven't worn any other besides this one right here. This one is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I do have the shade. 235, which is pure beige. This foundation is supposed to be for normal to oily skin, which is funny because I have normal to very dry skin. Um, it really works well for me though. I hydrate my skin really well with moisturizer, uh, hydrating primer, and then like usually Fix Plus or something um, like a moisturizing setting spray. So I found that this works really well for me. It's not too drying on my skin. It is a medium to full coverage. It is so flawless on my skin. It has literally taken place of like all my high-end foundations for the last month. So my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, I know I've mentioned this definitely in a favorites video um, probably before. For the last month or so, like I said, because I haven't been feeling the greatest, um, I wasn't really going in with full glam makeup, um, but I did go in with mascara every single day and this stuff just has a fat, fat wand and it basically uh, gets in all of my lashes and plumps them up and just kind of makes my lashes come to life. It is very black, very thickening, very lengthening, but I didn't really need to do anything else with my eyes when I put that mascara on because it just made them look like done up anyway. Speaking of lashes. So these have been my new favorite false lashes. They are the Ardell Demi Wispies. I am wearing them today. Um, they are just natural, wispy, long. They're super easy to apply because they don't have that big, thick black band. So they're so simple to apply. You can wear them like glam. You can wear them natural. I mean, they're just absolutely amazing and they're cheap. They're Ardell Demi Wispies. Loving, loving those. Why am I out of breath? I need to work out. Next item, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I have my shade in soft brown, so it's just like the brow is. It is double-ended. It has a spoolie. The spoolie is a little bit bigger um, than the brow is spoolie. So that's kind of a bummer. I wish it was the same size as the brow is. The other end here, as you can see, is slanted. You just twist it up and then you'll have the product here. It just is so simple to get in there and get under your brow and create that nice line and to fill it in really quickly because it is a lot thicker than the brow is. I've been absolutely loving it. It's super creamy, super pigmented, and so easy to use. So the Tatcha Lumina, the however, I'm squeaking so much because I haven't used my voice in so long. The Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist has been my ride or die for the past month. I mean, I have literally, like I said, I went in with like minimal to no makeup, just very natural glowy skin look for the last month, and this has been my baby. It is very expensive, but oh my god, you guys, it is literally so so amazing and right now my skin is so dry from the winter that I literally I can't use my like all-nighter makeup setting spray because I feel like it's too drying on me I have to use like fix plus and then this this has been my baby for setting my cheeks getting that beautiful glow instead of my highlighter kind of being powdery on my skin it just melts it in with my foundation and all the other products that I put on the face and it just is so luminous and it lights up whatever highlight I put on my cheeks and I haven't been able to put this down so I will just do one squirt on each cheek and call it good but it has been absolutely amazing this winter. Sticking with cheeks, I have a new brush from Morphe that I'm absolutely in love with. I have two brushes actually but the first one I'm going to talk about is this one here. It is the Morphe E4 brush. I discovered this from Jacqueline Hill. She was raving about this in her um, favorite Morphe brushes video. And I was like, really, like, what, what does it matter? Like, 
blush is blush, a brush is, is, is a brush. It doesn't really matter. This applies my blush so smooth and so easy. It's not patchy. I used to have an issue with having like patchiness or not being able to pick up a lot of pigment with my blush and not anymore. This is literally like life when it comes to applying blush. Boop, right into your blush and then dot it onto your cheeks. You can rub it in. It doesn't disturb my foundation beneath. It is so smooth, so easy to apply. The next brush that I have been loving, it's super dirty because I used it today, is my new pencil brush from Morphe. It is the E18. It is so fluffy. I used it to smoke out my um, underneath my eyes today. It's soft, it's fluffy, it's everything you want in a pencil brush. It doesn't hurt my under eyes and it's amazing. The next product that I want to talk about is the Tarlet In Bloom Palette. Oh, you guys. Literally, I don't think I've worn another eyeshadow uh, for like the past month, maybe maybe a month and a half. I don't know. The Tarlet In Bloom Palette has been my ride or die. I am wearing it on my eyes today. Um, the only shadows that I'm wearing are from this palette. It is absolutely stunning. It is so stunning, you guys. It has amazing mattes and shimmers, and it is just so beautiful. But the matte shades in this palette are just so smooth and creamy and pigmented. They're amazing. Um, since you guys have made it till the end of the video, um, you could probably guess, this is what I'm going to be giving away to one of you guys. Because I've been loving this palette so much, I thought I would give one away to one of my subscribers. And thank you guys for subscribing to me and to sticking with me. And because I haven't been on here in like two weeks, um, I figured I would come on here and do a giveaway. So I will list all of the details of the giveaway down in the description box below, letting you guys know what the terms are for this giveaway, when it ends, how you enter. You'll have to be subscribed to my channel, of course, that is like the number one. Um, but yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more giveaways because I always enter giveaways and I never win any single one of them, but I always think it's awesome when people do giveaways because they're fun and it's exciting and you could win. Unfortunately, the giveaway is not international. This is my very first giveaway, so I kind of want to test the, like, test the ropes here. So that is everything I've been loving for the month of January. Um, I will see you guys in my next video, which will definitely be a makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to enter to win the Tarlet and Bloom palette. Give the video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more giveaways. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's been so long since I filmed that I feel like I can't speak or I'm just like... I don't know why I decided to drink coffee when I film because it looks like I don't even like brush my teeth or anything. It's not cute. I don't know why I do this.